Good morning, good morning, BigSquareRoadDrew.com with your morning horn of Z's, your sip of Chaga Coffee. So much to talk about, um, always, but <clears throat> I have posted a, a discussion I had with Bitcoin Ben called The Real Reason for Year Zero and the Secret Understanding in Year Zero. Um, <laughs> basically, I have to go back through my timeline and redo it. Um, uh yeah there's all kinds of things going on but this is it's a big one uh he asked me not to really discuss it much i've already discussed it a little um but i didn't know we had forewarning of this stuff so anyway if you're on the private road or on patreon plus it is there for you you want to join hit subscribe today let's talk about our friends over at crypto viewing Great guys over there doing amazing work in, in crypto viewing. They just posted something called Death of the Dollar, where they analyze um, some of the the remote viewing hits that they've had. Well, I don't know. You couldn't call them hits yet, but they are coming. And if you want to know how it's all going to go down, <clears throat> go join crypto viewing on Patreon. Uh, I think it's a $20 or $30 the tier for this is... Uh, let me see. I'm not exactly sure. Go check it out. Go to Crypto Viewing and look up the death of the dollar. And they do a great summary on uh, certain things that they have seen over the last like six months. Uh, and it is all happening right now. And remote viewing, there's no better remote viewers in the world than Crypto Viewing. I'm just, I'm in awe every time. Love those guys. Support them. Go to their Patreon. Sign up. You will not be let down. And you can go through their archives. That's really cool. I love doing that, uh, going through archives. and Because these guys, sometimes they'll hit something, they'll talk about it, and they'll just kind of forget about it. And I'm like, wait a minute. Don't I remember that from two years ago? And then all of a sudden it's happening. So, uh, yep, check them out. Crypto Viewing uh, at Patreon. All right, here's the deal. So... I was saying for a while now that I don't think there'll be another bailout. And the reason is that the banksters are taking all this bailout money, even the stuff that's meant for the people. Well, obviously, they get trillions behind the scenes, but it, it seems kind of unique. Well, you could say it's just government, but they're having problems giving out money to businesses and to the people. Now, they have no problem giving out money to the banks. It's just, boom, here's a trillion. Here's another trillion. <laughs> go, go do with it what you will. But to get, hands in the, get money in the hands of the people, they're having a problem because they have to go through the banks, and the banks want to just keep the money. The banks are so criminal, beyond criminal. Anyway, this is on Zero Hedge. Small business rescue loan platform crashes as firms seek virus aid. Technical glitch, glitches plaguing the Small Business Administration's rescue loan platform went from bad to worse on Monday after computers running the system crashed, leaving borrowers and lenders in the lurch for hours. Did it crash on purpose? Did it crash to get the people all riled up and say, you're giving the banksters trillions and you're giving the people zero? And they, I told you they're going to have to come back for more money. That's when we have a chance to pull the plug on these bastards. According to Bloomberg, citing banking industry representatives and an administration official, the E-Tran system used to process loans for the new relief program was down for some time on Monday before it was fixed. The system has suffered from technical glitches since Friday's rollout. Watch my timeline, the private road members, and I talk a lot about technical glitches in this month. Quote, we know that your efforts have been frustrated with system issues, policy questions, and slower than usual response, says the SBA's regional office. It's a cluster, and that's not good for another bailout. Again, it's time for Congress to stand up and say no more bailouts. Now, did, did the, Fed, the Fed or Congress give the banks the money beforehand? Did the banks get the money and instantly use it to plug holes? Now, if these banks go under before they give these loans out, what happens to that money? I don't know. It's insane. And don't forget, this week they're supposed to get checks out to the individuals. Good luck with that. That's all I have to say. 
And of course, here it is. Pelosi tells Democrats next stimulus bill to at least $1 trillion as Goldman predicts explosion in U.S. debt. Who cares about the debt? We haven't talked about paying off debt in 10 years. It's stupid to even conceive of the U.S. paying off any debt. There's no plans to pay off any debt. The only plans would be to go to the Treasury and say, hey, print me out a, a, a $1 quadrillion silver round, and then I'll pay off the debt with that. They have the power to do that. It's a faith and confidence game. And the faith and confidence in what? In our politicians? In our a country that can't produce anything anymore? <laughs> it's falling apart. The SBA and the Treasury have yet to figure out how to distribute hundreds of billions in small and medium business rescue funds from the recently passed $2.2 trillion Phase 3 coronavirus bailout. And the U.S. government is already planning its next Phase 4 stimulus. Early this morning, Goldman's chief economist, John Hatzis, wrote that after Congress enacted three fiscal relief measures over the past few weeks, which provided aid to unemployed workers and state government, payments to individuals and loans and tax benefits to businesses, quote, further fiscal support for the economy looks likely to be needed. Where'd you hear that before? And Goldman's fiscal forecast assumes that Congress, quote, enacts at least one more fiscal package because the measures enacted to date are not yet equal to the lost income due to the corona. Virus 19, we expect. <laughs> if, if Congress doesn't pass this, the Fed will just open its floodgates more. But it'll be interesting, to say the least, if people say, hey, no more of this bullshit. We know the banks are taking all the money. And they want to pay the individuals and small businesses because they want those businesses to pay the banks what they owe them. If, who's the first to get... Uh, Defaulted on their on their checks, the banks. Now you're not going to pay your rent and your mortgage and your loan payments if you can't feed your family. And we, that's where we are. We are really at that point. So the banks will be the last to get paid, and they know it. So they're trying to get hand money into the hands of the people to it that ultimately ultimately ends up at the bank, and they can leverage it ten to one. It's a whole bunch of new money. That they can make 10 times the amount on. Amazing. Ah, but here we go. The first bank collapses amid coronavirus woes. More in store. The first state bank based in uh, Barbersville, West Virginia, has become the first bank to fail since the coronavirus pandemic spread across the United States. The FDIC made this announcement on Friday. <clears throat> the FDIC noted, quote, the first state bank has experienced long-standing capital and asset quality issues, operating with financial difficulties since 2015. Moreover, the bank capital levels as of December 31, 2019 were, were too low for legally staying, in opera, staying operational. Then why, why did you allow them to be operational for four more months, three more months? Um, therefore, all four branches of First State Bank, along with its deposits and certain assets, were immediately acquired by MBV Bank, a wholly owned subsidiary of MBV Financial. It had nearly 139.5 million in total deposits and 152.4 million in total assets. You notice they say certain assets were immediately acquired by MBV Bank. They gave the Fed or the FDIC the toxic gas. <laughs> anyway, they're starting to collapse. Keep an eye on the banks. Now remember, they didn't even have to uh, admit earnings for another 30 days. So I, th I find it very interesting that they're already going down when they don't even have to declare for another 30 days. Crypto's doing well. Again, all on a computer program. They're letting it go up. Um, yes, cryptos are absolutely the future of money. Check out the Bitcoin bin in my conversation yesterday, and you'll get a better idea of why. So all those shit coins that you bought in 2016, 2017 that have gone to like 95% of their value, you better hold on to most of them. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It's a hodl game. It's a hodl game. If the company did what they planned on doing, if they completed what they planned on doing, not counting the manipulation or the crash that uh, Christian Carlo and... Trump started in 2017 and 2018. All we did is take a few years and chop them out, 
Those years are gone now. It's like we're going right from 2017, December to January 2020, and we're moving forward. So this is the year of the crypto, my friends. We will see $100,000 Bitcoin parties come December, as was in Cliff's data. Everything else is coming true. I believe that will come true as well. Also, $600 silver. So figure out where you want to be. I mean, $100,000 $100, Bitcoin parties would be about 10 to 12 times what it is right now. Say 12 times what it is right now. Whereas silver from 14 to 600, that's a lot more. Maybe start with silver and then buy cryptos. I don't know. Silver is so close to destroying the largest bank in the world. Why? No, JP Morgan is not going to fail because they're short silver. They're going to fail because they rigged the silver price. Other banks will fail because they're short silver. JP Morgan's out of their silver short. They are long with, what, uh, over a billion ounces in physical silver. Remember, the Hunt brothers only had about 100 to 110 million ounces of physical silver, and the government shut them down for cornering the market. JP Morgan has over a billion. And they did it by keeping prices artificially low on the comics. Beyond criminal. I mean, yes, Blythe Masters, Jamie Dimon will go to jail. No doubt in my mind. Rico charges. And they should. What's silver doing? Hey, you got up over $15. Hey, you can't buy it at that. You can't buy silver at $15. You can't buy silver anyway. The U.S. Mint and the Canadian Mint aren't even minting coins because they can't find any silver. Now, the U.S. Mint, by law, is required to buy at any price. Buy the blanks at any price. They should be paying $20 to $25 for the blanks if they have to. It's in the law. They have to require silver eagles in quantities to meet demand. Gold eagles, no, they don't. The only stipulation on gold eagles, they can only use gold sourced in the United States. Do you think there's anything going on with gold and silver behind the scenes? <laughs> As in secret treaties and all that stuff? Absolutely. Anyway, that's your update. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Make sure you, all you private road members, check out the secret understanding of year zero post. It's right in the year zero updates. If you go to roadrunner.com, go to the private road section. It's right there at the top, year zero updates. Then I update the bailouts there. That is coming in later in the afternoon these days because they don't post the numbers to later because there's so many bailouts going on. But yes, we're well over a trillion dollars or two trillion now. Since September 11th. And I will be redoing the timeline based on the information I have, the new information I have. Um, and I always said, and I just said right at the beginning of my timeline post, that this is the best case scenario. And everyone's like, Pix, look at the destruction you have going on. How could this be best case? It is. It's best case. And now I'm going to have to redo it and say, okay, we all know what worst case is. Death. You know, EMP hits and we're done. It's over. Uh, but there's places in the middle that will likely be. But just the best case is still very, very tumultuous. And I wrote it two months ago. So check it out. This is Bix. If you guys are interested in joining the Road Ruta, hit subscribe today. And you'll get your very token, the lottery ticket of a lottery tickets. And a silver Ruta coin, the best coin ever made. And the only place you can get it is by becoming a private road member at roadruta.com. Talk to you guys later.